Hey guys and welcome back to today's video. My name's Amy if you're new around here and I film motherhood and lifestyle videos where I just document my life as a first time mum to my almost five month old Heidi and she's just playing in her little bumbo seat with like an activities table so if you do hear her in the background she's fine, she's just chilling, she just doesn't really sleep in the day all that much so I just have to seize every opportunity to film as I can which leads me on to today's video. So today I'm talking all about my newborn regrets. And these are just products I've regretted really from zero to three months, but they can kind of be bought out to zero to five months because there's a few things that she's recently grown out of. So without further ado, I'm gonna dive straight into it because there is quite a few things to go through and I'm not sure how long she'll be settled chilling in her bumbo. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first product that I've mentioned this before, but these are a product that I really think is dependent on the child and please don't be like us and buy too many before your child is born. That is dummies. And I even bought a personalized dummy clip because I was so sure that she was gonna take to a dummy, even though I had no idea what she was gonna be like, that we had this made for her. And this is just another dummy that's on here that we just have never ended up using. So we have a variety of different dummies. So we had the man ones, which we thought she would take because when she was newborn, we tried her on the man bottles. There's some Disney ones, there's some from H&M, which I got in a newborn haul if you remember that video. There's just a ton of dummies and we have so many more upstairs as well. We just don't use them, even though she's bottle fed and has been bottle fed from the beginning, even with breast milk in the bottle, she has just never taken to a dummy. And obviously once they're out of the packaging, you don't really wanna give them to other people unless they're like close friends or family. So we're just stuck with a load of dummies. I think we're gonna keep hold of them and then we can wash them and sterilize them if we have another. But we've just been left with a lot of dummies that are not gonna be used this time around. So even though I knew to probably not buy as many, I did, I was so sure she was gonna use them. I just think, baby, do you imagine having dummies? But Heidi just didn't take them at all. So the next thing to talk about is bottles. Like I mentioned, she was bottle fed from the very beginning, even though I exclusively pumped and put the breast milk into a bottle. I've talked about that many times, so I'm not gonna ramble on anymore, but we bought so many bottles. So we had the Tommy Tippy Closer to Nature ones, which we got with a pack with our sterilizer. We then bought the Tommy Tippy anti-colic ones because she suffered with colic quite a bit. We got the Mam anti-colic ones. These ones, she just drank far too quickly and made us sick all the time. Um, the Closer to Nature ones, again, she threw up a lot on. And the only ones that have worked and stopped her throwing up are the Dr. Brown's ones. So I would, again, just not go overboard with the bottles before you have your baby, find out what they like, and then take it from there. So next up are little baby boots. Now, thankfully, we didn't actually buy these. My mum bought us a load of these, but they're just not usable. She just will not wear shoes or boots. I'm sure it'll be fine when she's older and she's kind of on her feet. She just won't wear these and they don't stay on and they're just a pain. They're a pain to put on. She kicks them off really quickly and just don't waste your money on things like this. They look cute, they're just not practical. Next up is the baby carrier. So this is the mama and papa's. This is a two position baby carrier. So I think that they can sit front in and then out, I expect. Yeah, inward and outward facing so this one does go up to two years so perhaps we'll get more use of it when she's older but we just haven't used baby carrying i think it's just a preference we just haven't gone to use it um we might use it when she gets older but the problem is because i had an emergency c-section i found that since that my back has got a real weakness to it and i've mentioned that to my doctor and she's gonna look into it for me because it's normal to like basically have a weak spot where the spinal was, but not almost five months on. So I've mentioned that when I had a doctor's appointment recently, but I just don't really trust using something like this because of my back. And I find that I just have problems with that. And even if I carry it for too long, I really do feel it. And then if Rich were to do it and he was on his own, you've got to then have the changing bag and it's just a bit of a faff. So we just haven't used this. It's probably something that I would like to have used but she's just too big and heavy now so it's not something that i personally would use but again when you go into pregnancy and you're about to give birth you really don't know your preference but next up is a play gym there we go try and get it in but it's a mama and papa's and it's just a star and cloud one looks beautiful right and it was lovely when i took photos of her and put them on instagram 
but she's a baby and she doesn't want a white and grey play gym. She wants one that's full of colours and lights, and mirrors. This cloud never has really worked. We've tried to work it with change batteries, etc. It's just never worked. So that was meant to like have a lullaby and light up. Never worked. And by the time we actually went to use it, it was so long after we had ordered it. So we just didn't bother basically complaining about it. And yeah, it's just, I mean, now she's too big for it, but it's just not enough for her. It wasn't, she'd get bored very quickly. We put her in it and then I'd like play with her and stuff when she was smaller, which was fine. And we'd do tummy time and it's slightly cushioned, but it's not that cushioned either. So I feel like you could probably get a better one for your money. I mean, I've seen loads of fun ones like on Amazon. And so this one, I just probably wouldn't really recommend. I think we're gonna keep hold of it for the next one, but just because, I don't know, I think it's just because it's quite expensive, but actually I don't know if we will because she just didn't find it that fun. And I've seen like Rich's mum has a play gym for when she goes over there. And it's so much more fun and entertaining and loud and bright. And I bought this because it'd go with the home decor. So I just wouldn't recommend that. Get something colourful. Babies love colour and they love learning and they love just everything. And that just didn't have enough to like keep her busy. Now the other thing that I want to mention that's a bit of a regret was her Moses basket. It fitted the purpose at the time. I think she grew out of it at three and a half months, which just isn't that great. I don't have it with me because we've actually sold it. We sold it through Facebook Marketplace because it's just such a pain to store for such a short amount of time and chances are I'm probably not ever going to have a tiny baby. So we've sold that one now and next time around we're just going to get like a crib. So the last two things I don't physically have on me because we've either finished them up or given them away because we just didn't get on with them and that is Pampers nappies. We just found that they just leaked through. The ones that we used were the premium protection ones and they were the only nappies that we found have leaked throughout the night. Um, and they gave her quite bad nappy rash as well. So we went back to Lidl's ones, which we've had no problem with and are obviously a fraction of the price. So I definitely recommend checking out those or like other supermarket ones, but the Pampers ones just didn't agree with her. And the last thing as well is Huggies wet wipes. Again, we found that when we use those, like we had loads of uh, like, we had loads of wipes that were given to us or gifted to us and things like that that we had accumulated. So the only time that like we changed something in her like nappy routine was the wipes and it was a Huggies wipes. And again, she developed such bad nappy rash. So it's just not something that agreed with her skin. I don't know what it was, but again, we went back to the Lidl's ones and the Tesco ones are actually really good as well. They're wet wipes. But the Huggies ones just weren't that great for her and they just really irritated her skin. I mean, her skin is very sensitive, as you can probably tell on her face. She's got quite a bit of eczema and she's got it on her head and her neck as well. So we're just constantly putting cream on her. But again, obviously her bum area is very sensitive too. So we do have to be careful about what we use and just the Huggies ones just weren't that great. So that's it for this video. I hope that this has been helpful for you in knowing what to buy or not to buy when you have a baby. Congratulations if you are expecting a baby very soon. Um, I hope this video has been helpful for you to learn about things that we regretted getting. But let me know down below if there are anything that you've bought that you regret. Um, I'm sure that I'm not alone in, even though I felt like I had like avoided buying most things that I'd probably regret, I still regretted quite a lot, didn't I? So um, yeah, I would just say just be careful when you buy things and you do get gifted quite a lot of things so like clothes for example I don't feel like you can regret having too many clothes but we were gifted so many so try and keep off buying too much whilst you're pregnant and keep it towards the end of pregnancy I mean I know it's hard like stuff like the dummies I got carried away with and she never ended up having them so if you've enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and we'll see you guys in our next video bye guys